Cancer, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Let's get into the reading. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Cancer, off camera, what I was getting for you is that you're ready. You're a walking garden. You have everything that you need. Uh, to succeed, to push forward. You also are keeping relationships outside of your heart space, out, outside of your home. Uh, lack of intimacy here. You also feel like somebody is um, the perfect partner. There's no balance. It seems as if you guys have to always recreate the connection, the relationship. It's been volatile, either physically, verbal, verbally, or just the energy. You just don't know if this person is coming or going up or down. And maybe this is how this person feels about you also. Please excuse the fan noise in the background. My AC is not working. They're coming tomorrow. I'm in here sweating. I'm sweating it out for you guys today. And I got these lights on. It's just, yeah. Anyway, let's move right along. Um... <clears throat> let's see cancer let's see what's going on let's see what's going on with my cancers for this week how is cancer coming into the week this week the queen of pentacles all right so you could be um, a working mother you could just be really trying to cultivate better energy maybe a better home life um, you're doing something with your children. You're also trying to create uh, more avenues of income or you're working really hard. This card actually talks about, it says take time for loved ones. So you're working so hard that you don't even have time for your loved ones here. Um, you also are uh, focusing on, um, you might have be having some luck, fertility, things are growing for you. Luck, fertility, growth. The Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles here. That's how you're coming into the week. I'm trying to see what I'm getting off of this. Some of you are single, your mothers. Um, in the States, this is a time where some of the children are going back to school. Um, so it looks like you're focusing on your money your business and your children says the queen of pentacles you focused on nourishing and cultivating okay so you're putting a lot of energy and effort into what what does spirit want to tell cancer this week what does spirit want to tell cancer this week it says you're also figuring out your self-worth here you know that you are uh, worthy okay um, you're really stepping into your self-worth. You're not taking less than you deserve. You also could be upping your pricing or if you, if you deal with others. Cancer, this is what Spirit wants to tell you, the Three of Swords. There is a breakdown in communication, a breakdown in coming together and making something work. If there is communication, it is not effective. It doesn't affect any change. It is turbulent at best. It is all over the place. Nothing is happening here. There's upsetment. Yeah, the magician. You could be dealing with someone. Somebody broke the relationship in terms of what they said or what they did. They had suspicion of a third party. It could have been a third party meddling in your relationship. And it seems as if the magician here, somebody used their words, okay? Because the magician governs the, the language, words. Um, it also says use your words wisely. Somebody uh, really broke the connection in terms of how they communicated with you or vice versa, what they didn't say to you. Um, you also are dealing with a very powerful man or someone coming up in their masculine energy here. Uh, this person is a powerful manifester. What they say means something. Um, and it meant something to you. You could have um, also said something to this person where it, it, it broke down the connection here. Somebody's isolated, okay, and maybe even feeling alienated. All because of words and what somebody said or didn't say. It's 
like more so what someone said here. What can Cancer do to fix this situation? What can Cancer do to the King of Wands? Go after what it is you desire. Go after your heart's desire. The King of Wands, his affirmation is I want or I desire. So what is it that you want? What do you desire? The King of Wands also sees a bigger picture here. He's not a small time micromanagement, uh, what are the details type of guy. He also is a, a good he organizes the people. He's a good delegator. He, um, it's also really tough. Again, back to the home. I don't know if you do something in the home, if you decorate home or something like that. But some of you are really tied to your home. Also, the King of Wands has a bit of psychic inclination. He listens to his intuition. This is a powerful, dynamic man. Go after what it is you want. If it is some entrepreneurial endeavor, if it is a person move on that energy says the cards uh, that's what the advice is for you the king of wands here <clears throat> let me see the king of wands also what else can i gather there's, there's going to be some unexpected victory or income coming into you um yeah if you have a business you expect for things to pick up for you What is the external energy from Cancer? Uh, an external energy. An external energy from Cancer. What's the external energy? Okay, then the world. Okay, so you could have some fixed energy. Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius. There's a coming into a new chapter. Maybe even a whole new book. Throw the damn other book away. A whole new book here in your life. A whole new chapter. And there's some achievement. Okay. I don't know, something's coming full circle. Somebody's finally seeing something. Someone's in the loop now. They were out of the loop. They couldn't see. This wasn't that clouded judgment. I don't know. It could be it's external to you. So it's like this is a person who had clouded judgment. They're finally seeing something. They're closing the circle, allowing for something to end so that they can have a real new beginning. The world comes when Something is really shifting in our life. We're going to the next chapter, a new achievement in our life. Now, this would be, um, so our life goes in cycles, right? Uh, let's say if you had the perfect um, kind of progression to life. You come out of high school, you go to college, you come out of college, you go to, um, you go to work. All right, so that cycle right there is ended. You're in a new when you came out of college and you, and you got that job, you started something new. You started maybe your real adulthood here. You got your first job in your profession, okay? So the world, you came full circle here from elementary, school, post-college, uh, and now to your first job. Fast forward, okay, now you're in a relationship it's going well. You've been there for maybe a year, two years. It's time to take it to the next level. So gets engaged. Okay, now we have another closing of a cycle and a new. So um, it's like some of you are going to go to the next cycle. I don't know. Maybe you've hit some milestone in business. Um, maybe even in relationship. There's also someone else external to you going through this cycle. They're they're um engaging or re-engaging or coming to the next level or ascending here they see something for what it is what is it that we want to leave cancer with this week what is it that we want to leave you look like you have a really good week um let me clarify this three of swords what's this three of swords for cancer yeah i knew it the pay well the night of uh can i get it out uh the knight of swords so the Three of Swords, the Magician, and the Knight of Swords. Yep, somebody said some shit to you, okay? Now, it could have been true. It could have not been true. You would have said, you could have been the one saying the shit. I don't know. But there was an all-out uh, confrontation where things were said that really broke the connection, that caused a lot of heartbreak or heartache here. Um, wow, it calls for a person to go into this type of energy, the Knight of Swords, you know, untrusting. Uh, solidarity, sleepless nights, unrest, anxiety, questioning, going over and over the event, over and over again. Somebody, somebody owes you an apology. You owe someone else an apology. I'm not sure. 
It could be mutual. Something happened to where there's a complete breakdown, complete all out brawl, if you will. I don't know if it was physical or it was just verbal. It looks verbal. Yeah, it looks verbal. I don't see the five of wands or the five of swords or king of swords. Um, it looks like somebody said something to you that really shifted the energy, okay? Or vice versa, this is what you did. But it looks like this person is coming full circle here. Um, something's coming full circle for this person. Where there, it might even be an apology coming to you. Um, what's the world? What's the world? This external energy. What's the world? Yeah, page of swords. It looks like somebody was reckless with their their mouth. They were tactless. They were tacky. Um, they said things that they didn't really mean. Uh, they were childish, immature, uncaring. Um, and they just didn't know, they don't know how to choose their battles. It looks like they are spying on you or getting information about you. It looks like they want to come to you and say something about what they've learned. Because we got the Page of Swords on the World card. They've learned something, okay? Um, what should Cancer do when this person comes to them? Or if Cancer goes to this, goes to this person, what should Cancer do? What should Cancer do? What should Cancer do in terms of this person? What should Cancer do? Five of Cups, grieve, okay? Um, grieve, it hurt. Let this person know how they hurt your feelings, how they hurt you, how maybe they made the relationship unstable. There's a lot of instability here. Um, it says don't look at what happened here and what was said or what wasn't said in the Three of Cups because the Three is governed communication and the Three of Swords there too. It says, look at the two cups. Look at, is this relationship recoverable? The five of cups, even in this, it says that, yes, the relationship is recoverable. Um, also, it says that in the five of cups, you feel like something was taken from you. I don't know what this person took from you or you feel like something was taken. Um, maybe your, your joy. Maybe this person stole your joy by what they said or what they did to you or vice versa. This is what you did to someone else. Five of Cups is look at the fact that it is recoverable. Um, let bygones be bygones. Accept apology. Either move on or move on together. But definitely go through the grieving process. Don't hide the fact that this hurt. There's a level of instability here. Aggression. Um, irritation and exaggeration. Somebody exaggerated something? All right, Cancer. So this is what your week holds for you. It looks like you, you know, I would need a bit of a doubt. You may be on the side of needing the apology. Somebody needs to apologize to you or vice versa. I don't know. Y'all don't get down in the comments and let me know. It looks like you are doing your best. You're coming out as the queen of pentacles. You're focused on you, your, your worth. You know your worth. Um, it looks like somebody is in regret, remorseful of what they said. Uh, they're very tactless very they attacked you there was an attack a verbal attack I don't feel like it was a physical one um, it put you in a place of needing to grieve this ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck though it's like I don't know if this person sees forever in you or you see forever in them or you guys are already together in a marriage and a connection you can be dealing with a Libra someone with Libra in their charts Aries Sagittarius Leo uh, all, of, all of the fixed signs including Aries, um, Aquarius highlighted, Gemini. Um, somebody wants to see this relationship through no matter what happened, no matter what will happen. It says that even if we have nothing in common, even if things are breaking down, somebody's dedicated to the legacy, to the duration, to the empire of this connection. They're not actually dedicated to their emotions and how they feel on a day-to-day -day basis, but they're dedicated to the fact that this is who they've cho chosen, this is what they've chosen, this is where they are. All right, so I hope it resonates for you. If it does, go over to the website, book your reading there. Let me know down in the comments who owes you an apology and why, what for, what did they do? All right, Cancer, ask a question by texting your question to the number below. If you have a question, you can say, um, should um, I apologize to this person? Should I accept this person's apology? Is this person coming back? What are their intentions? 
questions like that you can ask the tarot you can also donate to the channel if you feel the move to do so by clicking the buy me a coffee link thank you cancer many blessings to you take care